It is dark and silent, but you can still feel your heartbeat. Scary! Sounds like a cheap novel you can buy at a train station. But yeah, that's Resident Evil Zero. We have to get used to that. Hello and welcome back. Uh, we are still up here. And I'm going to leave some stuff behind. Because I have to, unfortunately. If that was Silent Hill, we could take everything. So people, hello, learn something. In Silent Hill, someone can ca can carry everything. But no, in Resident Evil, we can only carry a few things. Can't they just try and get a little, a big bag or something? That would be cool. But no. Okay. Well, in this episode, I'm going to tell you something about Billy Cohen. William Cohen, born 1972. In 1998, he was 26 years old when this here, uh, when this game took part, was a lieutenant of the U.S. Marine Corps. And as you know, he had that mission in Africa where he should track down a guerrilla camp. But since they didn't find it and only four of them made it, they found a village and as some kind of a revenge or something, they shut down the innocent villagers. But Billy did not do that. Billy tried to save the villagers, but he got uh, knocked out by one of his Marine comrades and um, when they went back from that mission, he tried to tell the truth back at the base. But they, uh, the other three said that he went crazy and that he actually was the one who, um, who was responsible for what happened. And that he went kind of berserk and killed them all and they tried to stop him. So to cover everything up, the marines used him as a scapegoat and sentenced him to death. And Billy actually um, hated himself for what happened because he couldn't help those people. And that is why he's not saying anything about when she, when she asked him, did you kill those people or didn't you? And he said nothing because he felt like he killed them because he couldn't stop the others from doing that. Even though it doesn't really make sense because it was three on one. How could, it, how could it, uh, he do something? And his own life was at stake either. So. But of course, I guess everybody would have a bad conscience if he went into something like that. So, yeah, he kind of lived with his destiny and he knew that he had to die, but he was not fine with that, but he kind of has accepted it. And the incident kind of happened and gave him the chance to, to flee. So, yeah. Oh, scene. Shoot! You're alive! Are you okay, Rebecca? Where is everybody? They should have arrived here before me. Haven't you seen them? That's unfortunate. If we go straight from here, we should arrive at an old mansion which Umbrella uses for research. Come on, let's go. Wait! I've got to find Billy. Billy Cohen? You mean you found that criminal? Yes, but we got separated and... No point worrying about him. You won't make it. Come on, let's go. Sir, please. I need to find him. Don't worry. I'll catch up with you. Rebecca, I... All right. Just be careful. I never saw him again. I like this part. Are you okay, Rebecca? I guess her voice is weird. Um, yeah, what I, what I want to say? I wanted to say something. Oh, yeah. She, she actually says, I have to find Billy. And he says, oh, you found him. No. Fail. If she says, I have to find him, she actually did not find him. Or do you see him anywhere? Uh, okay, well. I shouldn't, shouldn't bother about that. I should bother about what's coming up. And I hate it. It sucks. But, yeah. Uh, help. Help? Okay, I, all, I already started running like an idiot. That's good. So, I gotta go here and use the key we just found. It's an elevator key. The elevator was activated. And something else, too. Come <gasps> along! 
avalanche! Run! No avalanche? I would have preferred an avalanche. That. Hello, mister. We all know this guy. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce... Proto-Tyrant. The older brother of Tyrant. And let me tell you, he's pissed. Like he always is, because I guess he saw himself in the mirror. Or he wants a manicure. So, this fight sucks. Tyrant is extremely fast. He is extremely, extremely, extremely fast. So the only thing you can do here is run. And he's going to hit you. And right when you hit you, you can shoot him. Yeah, well, if you fall and he got you, you shouldn't shoot him afterwards because he's right back to more hitting. Wait until he did a move, and then you can shoot it. It would be good if you hit. Missing sucks. Okay, if he yells, we got a positive hit. Ooh. Fuck! Sorry. You have to keep an eye on your health, because he is really strong. Give me a sec. Okay, we are still on caution. That's okay, we can still take one more hit. Yeah, that's the hit. We can still take. Hello, menu. There, danger. Run. Just run. Only thing you can do, run. And he gets you because he has such a wide range. Okay, just stay here. Prepare to run. Ah, his range is extremely, extremely high. Absolutely no chance. Wait a sec, okay. Now we are on danger again. Oh, on caution. I'll switch to the magnum. My turn. Ah, oh, nose. Ah, oh, there we go. You can actually do that with the uh, shot uh, with the. You can actually do that with the grenade launcher. But it's harder. I tried to conserve the magnum ammo, didn't work, as you saw. <laughs> so yeah, now the elevator is here. Now. I hate that. But mm. okay, so we're in the elevator. And we go to the elevator control panel, if that's the right word. And you see we have uh, four levels to go to. Level one will take you to where the train crashed in the training facility. And level two is where we are going now. Because, um, yeah, you will see why. So I'll equip. Uh, oh, wait. Let's just stay with that. So we will go to level two. Level three will take you to where you fought Tyrant. And level four makes progress. So it brings you to where you can make progress. Okay, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't talk. I sorry, I sorry. I are baboon! Okay, where is this guy? Shocking! 
I think he didn't get me. So, magnum ammo. More magnum ammo. Let's see. I'm gonna combine. I could have killed him with a grenade launcher, but no. <laughs> I did not want to. So, oh my gosh. So, this is level 2 where we are at the moment. And I want to get those. Hello? Would you mind? There. Finally. Handgun ammo. Nice. So this is the only hunter there is. I think you can all uh, actually dodge him if you like. But I did not want to. So here this is your... Thank you for destroying Tyrant. Here you got something to heal. I'm gonna take that. And take that and gonna f heal fully. Can use... Uh, Combine here. Nose. I want to use that. I'm back to okay. Oh, good. I feel good. I feel like I killed a tyrant. I think I have to make a party. The door was unlocked. So there we go. Ah, oh, I'm sad. I'm really sad. It is, it, you can you can kill him otherwise. I hate it. I hate that I can only kill him like this. So I say we're back here at the cable car. And since we are having a little more space now, I'm going to get back the handgun ammo. It is the handgun ammo. And I think you can also go through the tyrant fight without healing. But yeah, as you see, I move like an idiot, so... Ooh. So we got that. Get it back, and then we get back up and take our handgun back. And we're going to heal. Uh, not heal, we're going to save. Because uh, when I save, I will cut off this episode. Because this this fight oh, made me, made me, made me. <laughs> I went home. No. But I hate Tyrant. I hate him. I'm totally, I totally hate to fight him. Because, I mean... I don't care what he looks like. I mean, well, let him look like he wants. I don't care. It's just that he's so incredibly strong. And if we would be there with Billy, I wouldn't care at all. Because Billy's a lot stronger, okay? He could have died there, too. Especially when I play. But still, it's Billy. He's stronger. He has more, he has more health. His shots are better. And ugh. But yeah. Finishing him off with Rebecca is probably good. It might be. I'm not sure though. But yeah. So I'm I'm actually happy that I made it. So there's more handgun ammo up here. I'm gonna take that with us too. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. And we got the ink ribbons from the floor. Because we only have one more space. I'm gonna take them up. And I will save here. Because, ugh, I will say, I'm just scared. And we will see each other in the next episode. When we will, well, move on and see what we can find. So thank you very much for watching and have a nice day. Bye bye.